30 Coins is a Spanish mystery horror series made by Alejandro de la Iglesia, who is most famous for making a number of films in Spain that usually tend to lean into horror and dark comedic themes. He was also a producer on Erementari, a Basque horror film that I recently made a short review on, so be sure to check that video out if you haven't already. This series was made for HBO Europe and began airing in late November of last year. However, began airing much later on HBO Max for other regions. I'm watching the HBO Max release, so while the show is nearly finished in the original run, I'm only up to episode 3, so that's as far as I'm going to cover in this review. 30 Coins, as the title suggests, is about mysterious coins that are at the center of a vast conspiracy ultimately involving the forces of evil, possibly from hell itself, as the antagonists definitely seem to be demons of some sort. The coins are apparently the silver coins that Judas was giving for betraying Jesus, and as many of the artifacts involved in the death of Christ, including the Spear of Longinus, are imbued with supernatural powers, the same seems to be the case with these coins. While the entire plot hasn't been revealed at the time of this review, it seems to be centered on a demonic branch of the Vatican attempting to gather all of the coins and the protagonists trying to stop them. The setting for these events is the small town of Pedraza in Segovia province in the Castilla and Leon regions of Spain. The first characters we are introduced to are the mayor of the town, Paco, played by Miguel Silvestre, and his wife, portrayed by Macarena Gomez. The other major characters are Elena, the town's veterinarian, played by Megan Montaner, and she's actually the first person to get wrapped up into the events as she's called in to deliver a calf when, to her surprise, the cow seemingly gives birth to a human child instead, which is only the start of the strange goings-on in the town of Pedraza. Throughout the first few episodes, Paco and Elena spend most of their time investigating the various cases, with Paco's wife frequently suspecting that something more is going on between them. Lastly, and perhaps most importantly, is the priest, Padre Manuel Vegara, played by Eduard Fernandez. In addition to being a priest, he is also an exorcist, boxer, and ex-convict, so he's an interesting character to say the least. He's tormented by a past exorcism gone wrong in which an Italian boy named Giacomo lost his life. However, before this happened, a silver coin came out of his body, seemingly from hell itself, which of course turned out to be one of the titular 30 coins, and the reason for the demons stalking him. This subplot with Giacomo frequently comes up, especially in the second and third episodes, since the demons usually use the incident to try to break Vergara down. Each episode is structured around a new threat, sort of a monster of the week type format, that usually ties into the overarching plot, but could also serve as a sort of standalone threat. The first episode featured a pretty wild spider baby demon. The second episode was focused on a Ouija board and the soul of Giacomo, while episode 3 had a very interesting subplot with a mirror that acted as a portal to an alternative demonic realm. So, like, if you've seen... The movie The Mirror, or Oculus, it's sort of along those lines. So far, I really enjoy this series. The duo of Paco and Elena investigating the various happenings in the town gives the whole show a sort of Mulder and Scully X-Files type of vibe, and the priest with a tortured past is definitely an interesting and generally badass character. He's kind of the muscle of the group. Not sure how the series will progress, but I plan on staying with it till the end, and will probably make at least one more video about it when the series concludes. So, thanks for watching, and if you have HBO Max, I definitely recommend checking out 30 Coins.